How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV, and this is the second to last episode of Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans McGillis Farid. Um, it has been very tough, honestly, these last six ish, maybe, maybe more episodes. Um, everything that they've built is basically gone. Orga is now gone as of the last episode. And it's, I thought about it like a little bit as I was kind of just like taking a breather after watching that last episode. As much as I think this show is great, it is disappointing that a lot of the kills, a lot of the deaths of major characters have been by people in suits. It is kind of fucked up, but at the same time, it makes sense considering the fact that there's so many different things around them controlling their situation. So someone we don't know, we don't care about, that will never know is the person that kills these people, like with, uh, with uh, Laughter, here with Orga, almost with Chad. But it does feel a little cheap. <laughs> I under, I kind of saw it coming too. It was way too quiet. It was way too lucky that they made it. Um, I thought the car was probably going to explode or something, or someone was going to shoot a rocket at it or, or something like that. Uh, that would have been disappointing, but also a little too on point for it to have been them just pulling up with guns, shooting them down and going. I'm like, it sucks a little bit because when you have Gundams, we've seen some crazy kills with Gundams in the past and it feels like the robots are the least dangerous thing right now. Um, though obviously we've had some really good fights and deaths from that too. It just hurts to see, it just hurts to see that my boys now have very little and Mika is gonna go, is this a problem? This is a big problem because Mika is gonna do whatever he wants now. What that could be, I don't fucking know. But if that is solely revenge for Orga, he is not gonna stop until he's not breathing either. He, I think both of them are that connected where Orga's death for sure means Mika's death. I don't know if it'll happen in this episode, probably the finale, but it's just that Orga's death is the biggest death flag I've ever seen for a different character for Mika. So now I'm really fucking worried and I'm really fucking sad. I mean, to be fair, the baby Atra has is also kind of a death flag. I'm very worried. I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know what's going to happen because now it just feels like they have nothing. We'll see who makes it and uh, let's hop into the episode. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, someone got shot here. Bro, fucking noblest, bro. I'm sorry if that was loud, but fucking noblest, dude. God damn it. Fucking piece of shit. We should have killed him when we had the chance. Oh my god, they're gonna fucking hear what happened. Oh my god, this is so fucked. Eugene's gotta take the lead now. Like... Oh my god, everybody... <laughs> oh! What the fuck? How the fuck is Mika gonna feel? He knows already. Oh, I got chills from him just barely mentioning it. Oh my god. Yeah. Sorry, dude. He got something going. He got something moving Mika probably wants to fight. Yeah, he Akihiro probably wants to fight too, low key. Yeah, this is. Oh, he's he's gonna ready. He's gonna say some shit now. Oh, that's not good. Holy shit! And he's doing it from the thing so he can move around. Wow. This is a crazy shot. Of my man. He is no oh my my fucking boy. Yeah, like he doesn't know what to do, kind of. Yeah, oh my god. Look at him. He is fucking pissed. Don't ever stop. What does that mean, bro? 
What are we doing? What does that mean? The orders of what? He said, don't ever stop. Don't ever stop fighting. Don't stop go doing what we were doing and trying to fucking escape. What is the don't stop part? Please interpret as don't stop trying to run away. Please just fucking run away, dude. Fucking noblest. Let's blow him up for fun, please. What? Weird. Yeah. This is true, dude. Come on, Julia, to pop, pop, pop your head out of your ass. She's quitting. I'm done. I gotta go. Uh, they need to hurry up. Okay, so they're gonna try and let everybody survive. Okay, I'm glad though that at least they're gonna be there to fight. So they can at least save everybody else. Like, yeah. yeah. Good shit, my boys. Music right now is so good too. Oh, you're gonna need to teach everybody else, bro. Oh shit, he's using the one that he got from Feywaz. Oh shit, or was it Gyalhorn? I think Gyalhorn sent it to him. I don't remember. One of them. <laughs> That's a crazy line to drop. Then hurry back. Oh shit. <laughs> I hope not. Holy shit. Poor Mikazuki, dude. Oh god damn it. Ah. Don't do that shit to me there. Wow, that shit is surrounded. And there it goes. Takadon, the once CGS, gone. Demolished, destroyed. Yeah. What up, baby? Here we go. Fucking 4v however fucking many, bro. <laughs> oh my god. He is on some shit. <laughs> Actually, it's more like 9v however many of them. Yeah, it's okay. Just buy some time. Don't die. Buy some time. Yep. Ooh. The fucking... I love... I low-key love the design of those. Just fucking ripping them apart. They got... They got comfortable thinking they were going to win easily. <laughs> now they're scared. Is that today? Are you actually going to kiss... Kill Rostal today? Kiss Rostal. I mean, hey, maybe that's how you end it. <laughs> I forgot this man is like alive. Like that shit's crazy. Yeah, are you sure? What? I'm so creeped out by him being fucking here. Oh my god. Look at that thing, it is so beat the fuck up. He just ripped into that thing. Oh my god. Incredible. That thing's strong as fuck. Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit, the fucking wings. Oh my god, that was cool. Yeah, get to it. What was that? There we go. We gotta go. You gotta go. We gotta leave. I stabbed him and he took it. I can't forgive him. But I stabbed him and he dealt with it. Oh my god. Ugh. I, why is this? I still don't get this fucking plot line. <laughs> what? The fuck does that mean? This is the one thing I'm still I'm never gonna get fucking over this. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Let's just see him kill some shit, though. I, I, that's... Ooh. Bro, bro's throwing swords around like it's fun. Which it probably is, but he's on point with it. Bro, that thing is so fucking big compared to the normal mobile suits that they have. Holy shit. It is so beautiful, though. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Bro, if he just went around doing that, he will kill Rustal very quickly. I will win. That's a scary sentence. I heard. Oh, there he is. There's Galio. Bro's, bro's preoccupied with something else, bro. He's trying to kill. Oh my god, Ayn. Fuck off. How oh, is Ayn still? I still. Fuck, man. Why is he here? <laughs> god damn. Yeah. The settings, bro. Oh my god. Hutch. Get the fuck out of there. Move. Come on. Hush. You're just buying time. Your weapon's cool, but you're just buying time, Hush. Ooh. Dude. Hush is dead. Oh my god. Why, bro? Come on, man. You're not gonna catch up to his ass. He's at least dying like a fucking badass, but... I can't believe Hush just took a fucking axe to the chest. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Bro, Hush, man. You were cool, bro. I'll give it to you. You were fucking... You were the main character of a different show. <laughs> oh, my man. Oh, fuck. Bro, he's not looking at you. He's not looking at He don't give a shit about you, bro. He's moving forward past you. You're going to die again. Ooh. Ooh. Bro said, no, I want to see how they 1v1 each other. Just let them 1v1. I want to see if Ayn's fucking... Tactics are worth it. Wow. Holy shit, they're just moving so fast. Everybody's just got to stare. This is so dumb. This is like, oh my god. They're fucking both crazy. They are out of their minds. Holy shit, look at them. Is he just pulling pieces of eye now almost? Yeah, they're just watching. I did not think that McGillis was going to kind of overpower him as much as he is. Ooh, okay. Maybe I lied. Ooh, shit. His sword broke. Ooh. Did he just, like, launch his fuck... Oh, the drill! Oh, shit. Oh, he took the drill out to stab him with it. They're going in. Oh! Holy shit! He took that fight into the into the ship. Oh my god! He got stabbed with the drill. Holy shit! He's going to kill Rostal no matter what. Oh, he's just got a piece of debris in him. Okay. Wow. This is crazy. What is he gonna end up? Look up, bro. There's probably someone in front of you. Oh my god. Yeah. He's completely fine. Who holy shit. McGillis is Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. This is crazy. I'm glad. Galio won, but at the same time, all of this shit from McGill is just to fucking have him die like this. Not like it's a bad way or a corny way to die, but... All of this for his fucking ideals for no reason. Yeah, move forward to fucking what, bro? 
move forward to this shit that doesn't matter because you lost. That wasn't a lie. It's crazy that he was like so serious about that. Yeah. Guys, he still have feelings for each other and as friends. Still care about each other. Like this shit's always been personal. Ob personal, obviously, he's hurt by this thing. This whole fight. Oh shit. He's not talking to anybody. Oh. Ooh. We got Hush out, McGillis out, Rostal's fine. Damn it. I don't like what, <laughs> what happens now. What are we doing? Fuck. I mean, yes, yes. The next episode's the last episode. It's almost, it's almost time. Oh, look at Dante smile, bro. Survive. Fuck. Ugh. Yeah, don't do that, though. I don't want you to fight with him in heaven. I want you to fight with him eventually in heaven. Not right now. There's a different place. Yeah, the, the place Orga is at. You're going to get to the place Orga is at eventually. Ugh. Oh, dude, I know the world of the, the Gundam verse. You know, it's always kind of cruel. Um, I know that the Gundam verse, I know that the world is cruel. And obviously throughout the show, we've seen how cruel and tough and hard this world is. But man, I wish Hush didn't try to be as good as Mikazuki. It was a great character. He was awesome to, because he wanted to fight, again, to be better. He had someone to look up to, to be better, to try and get that going for him. But unfortunately, the kid couldn't pull it off. Um, he was overwhelmed. He moved too far. I, I also hate, partially, that he may or may not have gotten fucked by the machine settings. Which was a weird little thing to add that I don't think the settings of a machine have mattered ever, really. So for him to be like, ah, fuck the buttons was a little corny to see to make it seem like almost, even though he was able to get both of them down, um, it seemed kind of sad and dumb that like he was just like fumbling about still almost like he wasn't, he didn't know completely what he was doing yet. Um, I wish they didn't add that and he was just like, they just traded and that was it. That little, like, him fucking around with settings. It's a small little thing. But it makes him seem more incapable than he was. Which I think at this point he was very capable. Um, and I'm glad that Mika gave him the send-off I think he wanted by reassuring him that you're good. Keep keep looking out for this area. I'll, I'll move on. And, and it at least made him feel like he was doing something. Which he was. He totally was. Um, I just think... That little that little bit made it a little more sad but overall obviously mcgillis fucking failed so unless bile has like a bomb in it or what it's it's not gonna matter for saul lives nothing's really gonna change in the corruption of yalhorn the bullshit that they do with noblis which is the reason why orga's dead which is fucking awful this is all going just very downhill obviously and I just want my boys to survive. They need to keep it going to have enough time to let everybody else get through and live. Um, and I hope that they can do it. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Way you know every time I post Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Really, just for the last time for the finale. If you have any other Gundam shows, anything else that you want me to watch, I've watched some Gundam shows already at this point. None really on the channel. This is the first one on the channel. Um, I watched 86, which apparently is somewhat connected to this show, um, just through inspiration, obviously little things that they picked out, but I'm excited to kind of start some new stuff. Um, I think I'm staying in the same vein. I just don't want to say what it is yet because it'll be released. So subscribe for that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys for the finale. Peace.